Here I just stopped to make a pit stop along the way from uh, Thunder Bay to Winnipeg. Just a small little uh, little creek running into uh, Lake Superior. color there but I don't know where that would come from. It was a nice little creek had some tiny little waterfalls there just to stop uh, they had like um, bathrooms there you could go to the toilet uh, that's all they had a parking area you could stay overnight as long as you paid and that bridge there, the underneath the bridge, goes out to Lake Superior. And you know how big that is, so. Just sort of a little whistle stop. Kind of a nice little creek with little waterfalls all the way along here. Um, just stopped to take, I was going to take my drone up, but uh, I figured, no. Quite have the time, and um, so I, I didn't do it. Anyway, so I, there must be brook trout in here, I would think. Uh, brook trout are, are everywhere in all little little streams like this. I didn't see any fish at all, but uh, the, the water was pretty warm. Uh, like it shows this brownish color. I don't know where that comes from, from plants or just the reflection on the bottom. There again, I was a little farther up. Stream. And more of the same uh, little stream, only a little farther, a little farther up again. So once I uh, finished looking at the stream, it was only like a few steps from the where you where you park. So I went back to the parking area, cleaned out my garbage, threw it all in the wa waste there, and, and I bumped into these uh, nine girls there, or some sort of um, a club. I don't know whether they were a church group or what kind of uh, club they were with, but. They had three canoes and nine girls, and they had a pack. Each of them had a, a pack on them on their back, like you wouldn't believe how much stuff they were carrying. This one here, just ahead of me, looks like she was carrying uh, maybe the food or something. It was in a, one of those plastic uh, barrels, but uh, every one of them had lots of stuff with them. And we walked across the highway to uh, actually so they could get into Lake Superior here. They started here instead of the little creek. We're right where the little creek uh, comes out at. And uh, they just walked up the way a little ways here. They're going to camp there for the first night. They're all in their early teens, I would think. And um, I guess they each had their own little thing they were going to do. One carried canoe or, you know, the three of them carried canoes, the other ones carried the, the food and what have you. And so I asked them, like, how long they were going to be out there and stuff. And they're, they're going along the edge of Lake Superior here uh, for 50 days. That's 50 days. I couldn't believe it. Uh, they'd be just in time to go back to school. Um, it was in July here. So... Um, Away they go, off all by themselves, nine girls. I was testing the water here, it's nice and was it ever warm for the for a lake that size? Like, I thought it would be pretty cold, but no, it was really nice and warm. But they're walking off a little bit to their distance where they're gonna camp for the first night. And then it's off for 50 days along, the, along Lake Superior. So 
so I hope they make it all the way and safe and sound. They were they were a pretty good group. I, I just left them here. I, I stayed here and they carried on. So off they go. Huge lake. You cannot see the other side. It, it, it just looks like an ocean actually. If you know how big uh, the Great Lakes are, they're huge. All fresh water. And uh, so much for the video.